So, it's 2016. It's the second video of the year, and I'm excited to show you what I have in store for you guys. So stay tuned right after this. What's going on Airsofters? Thanks for tuning in today to Century Elite Airsoft TV. My name is Drew and we are back with our second video of the year. Now I know I've been a little bit behind on posting up some videos for you guys because I've been busy with work and um, we got hit with a really bad snowstorm. If you guys are not from New Jersey or anywhere around New Jersey, um, we had Hurricane Jonas, yeah Hurricane Jonas, come over and pretty much put a bunch of white powder um, on all of our states. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, if you guys are in New Jersey or anywhere surrounding New Jersey, um, I hope you guys are safe and okay and well um, because this weekend was totally, totally a mess. But let's put that all that negative side away and we are going to talk about something positive. Yes, not really positive though, but it's something really cool. Yes, so I have my new toy, my personal airsoft gun. Well, my new one rather. So, um, I had this customized by a few uh, individuals over at Toto Airsoft, and I want to say a special thank you to them. I happened to get all the accessories that I needed from various places, including Fox Airsoft, uh, because they carry a wide variety of items that are great for Airsoft players. So, if you guys haven't checked it out, there are two links below, one for Total Airsoft, one for Fox Airsoft. I definitely would recommend going to their websites and checking them out because they have a lot of great things that you may need um, for um, Airsoft. So definitely check them out. So getting back into my gun. So I have with me is a custom GNG Firehawk. Yes, it is a Firehawk, which I absolutely love because of the weight, the design of it. It's lightweight, it's easy to carry, and it's totally tricked out. Look at this, this thing is unbelievable. So let's start from front to back. So. Uh, on the front part of it, I did add a suppressor. It's a Mad Bull SWR suppressor. Uh, now, this is not standard um, on your Firehawk. On the Firehawk, you actually get a um, amplifier. Yes, an amplifier that is very loud, but it is really cool. But I chose a suppressor out for specific reasons, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so the suppressor I have is a Mad Bull SWR suppressor. Um, it's great because it adds that intimidating look to it. Um, up top, I do have my uh, Peck box, which is a flashlight and laser combo, green laser combo, mind you. Uh, so it's definitely great when it comes to playing Aerosoft because it gives you that cool laser sight and a flashlight just in case you're playing a lights out or run into dark situations. Now. On the Firehawk itself, this is standard with all the rails. They have their 20, 20 millimeter standard Picatinny rails, which are great for all of your favorite accessories. Uh, on the top part of it, you do have enough room for a flashlight or even a, a sight. My sight that I have up here is a Vulcan Tactical Red Dot sight. Now, Vulcan Tactical is definitely a great brand, again, uh, because they have a lot of reliable products uh, from their Vulcan V12 to their Vulcan BBs. I absolutely love Vulcan because they're also a great company to use when it comes to playing for Airsoft. Now, I did add a uh, lens protector to my scope because of the fact that I'm worried about it getting shot by other players, uh, and investing this guy is definitely important, so if you have some sort of sight, make Make sure you invest in one of these guys for about 15 to 20 bucks and it's definitely worth it because if this thing breaks it's better than replacing the site which can be very costly at times um, so down below I actually have my HFG vertical grip from ASG and it's definitely a great grip it's not your standard grip that's out there it's a lot more uh, ergonomic in my opinion because it's very comfortable and I do have my pressure switch right in here this pressure switch basically controls my pack box if I want to use my laser or my flashlight. Okay, so now we go to the back of the gun. You have your standard stock, which basically houses your battery, uh, and you be able to it, be able to retract it uh, in a few different positions, whatever is comfortable for you. Now, I definitely like this position though because of the fact that I can actually maneuver and be able to use my gun in different areas. So. Now, getting into the hop-up, the GNG does have accessibility to your hop-up, so you can definitely adjust it by pulling the charging handle back. So, right over here, you can definitely adjust your hop-up and uh, fine-tune it to the way how you want it to be. 
Okay, so now getting into the internals of this gun. <laughs> this is the best part because you guys don't know what's going on, but the best thing about my new GNG Firehawk is because I actually also had it polar start. Yeah, it is polar start ready, it is ready to go, and I can't wait to use it. So, the gearbox inside has been definitely gutted and cleaned out and replaced with a polar star jack. Now the polar star jack, there's a lot of people who have mixed reviews on it. Personally, I have not had any issues at all um, with it and I find it really great in a very, very affordable way to get into the HPA world of Airsoft. So HPA is definitely still new to me. I'm learning a lot of different things about it, but getting started with the Polar Star Jack is definitely great because it's very, very inexpensive compared to like a Fusion Engine or a Vulcan V12. Now, I actually have to pick up my uh, Polar Star Jack from Fox Airsoft on their website, so they definitely have it available. So if you are curious, there's a lot of information that you need with it. Now, now, if you're probably wondering, where do I house my battery, where do I house the FCU? Everything is standard and housed in the buffer tube of this gun. So everything in here is definitely housed uh, as far as all the electronics. The battery itself is a LiPo battery, very small LiPo battery that stores right here in the tube, along with the FCU. Um, and I also upgraded the hop-up. The hop-up is a Pro-Win hop-up from Evike, or actually I bought it from Evike, and it's definitely... A very great hop up. It's an uh, it's an upgrade to your standard GNG hot hop up. Um, so def definitely adds a lot of accuracy to it. Now I also upgraded the barrel from 190 millimeter to 247 to give a little more length to it. So that way uh, it can be more accurate and not shooting all over the place. Because the standard barrel is very short, and then once you have it HPA, it's shooting all over the place. But with a new barrel, it's definitely going to give me that option to be straight and accurate with all my shots. Now, when it comes to playing airsoft, make sure you always wear full seal eye protection when it comes to playing the game. Safety first is always a plus. Now, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video with all your friends. And again, I want to say special thanks to Fox Airsoft and Total Airsoft for supplying me all the, all the accessories and the things I need to get this guy going. So their websites are on the uh, description below. The link is, is in the description below and make sure you follow us all over the place. And also, one more thing, if you guys have not entered yet, if you do not have entered yet at all, Fox Airsoft is doing an awesome giveaway, it's an Elite Force HK G28. Now there is a link also as well below in the description on how to enter. It takes not more than 20 seconds and only needs your email. If you're curious about the giveaway, there's more information in this video above, so make sure you click on that video right over here. Yes, right over here. Alright guys, I will see you guys later. I rely on it, especially when it comes to playing Airsoft. Uh, but they are back again today with a new giveaway. Yes, an another giveaway for you guys because they just can't stop giving stuff away because that's how awesome they are. So uh, Fox Airsoft is going to be uh, giving away a...